Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. In southwest Suffolk County on Long Island, serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, tri-state area. Making sure that your home looks great, functions well, and can stand up to any kind of adverse weather. And by the way, as a reminder, uh, with winter approaching, uh, they are the uh, largest source of rock salt on Long Island. And people come from other places when uh, they can't find it where they are. Uh, they drive to Long Island to get rock salt. So head over to Omni, 631-756-1125 is the phone number. Best prices not only in town, but anywhere uh, in the tri-state area. Omni, OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So as we look at the satellite loop this morning, uh, we can see a few things going on. One is that we have a uh, cold front, the first of uh, three, actually, three weather systems anyway. Uh, there is... Um, uh, the first one is making its approach now uh, as it uh, moves uh, to the east. And we're going to clean up this. There we go. So uh, right over there. We actually have uh, some uh, moisture uh, from uh, the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic that's surging up the eastern seaboard. And today, the two of them to get, will get together uh, for some rounds of showers and possible thunderstorms and maybe even a little bit of severe weather risk. Uh, you'll notice that we're going to use a word that we haven't used in a few weeks, and that is the word humid, uh, because the uh, dew points are going to be moving up well up into the 60s, and that's pretty juicy. Also, just want to point out the very ragged appearance of Tropical Storm Carl uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. The top winds are 50 miles an hour. You can see that what <clears throat> is the core of Carl is moving southward. While we have uh, northwesterly winds in the upper atmosphere shearing thunderstorms uh, to the east. And uh, this uh, pretty much, I think, uh, sinks it as far as the system uh, developing. We never really expected to get much beyond where it got. Now it uh, appears on this loop that it's drifting southward toward the coast of Mexico. We'll just get this out of the way uh, with respect to the track. Uh, moving southeast to south and then southwest, making landfall uh, the 4 a.m. advisory. So we could freshen this up and get the 7 a.m., uh, the, the latest one. Actually, the latest one's not going to be out till 8. I'm sorry, because it's a little early for me this morning. 22.4, 94.4. Top winds at 50 miles an hour. It was stationary at 5 o'clock, but it looks like it's moving now to the south. So let's get back to what we're expecting here and <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the east. And uh, we've got a busy radar this morning. Uh, this is as of 7.30 a.m. Uh, you can see uh, some showery rains around. Uh, they get uh, a bit more. They th are thinned out here near the coast. They get more numerous as you head to, to the west and down to the south into the Carolinas. Uh, we also have some showers and thunderstorms in a squall line in southeastern, southwestern Georgia this morning into the Florida panhandle. All of this part of this first cold front that's coming on through. And you can expect the shower and thunderstorm activity here that's going to wind up getting energized a bit uh, later on today. The Storm Prediction Center, now this will be updated a little later this morning, uh, but their overnight forecast uh, pretty much went with the, uh, the flow of yesterday's, which is a marginal risk of severe weather from uh, portions of northeastern North Carolina, northward to the Catskills and south central New York. And that includes just about all of New Jersey, uh, east of the Garden State Parkway, uh, back through Pennsylvania, uh, just touches New York City, up into the Hudson Valley, to the Connecticut State Line, the Delmarva Peninsula. And when, when I see marginal, uh, I... I'll just sort of think of the idea that there'll probably be some isolated severe thunderstorms in the mix. And uh, in a case like this, uh, we uh, have a little bit of tornado risk, believe it or not. And it's a 2% tornado risk in the green area you see there in uh, eastern Pennsylvania uh, down into eastern Virginia. It's a 2% uh, probability of a tornado within 25 miles of any point inside that uh, that green area and uh, with regards to rainfall over the next uh, 24 hours anyway uh, we're looking at uh, it looks like anywhere from a half inch to maybe as much as an inch if you get into one of those thunderstorms you could do pretty well this is for uh, today from uh, 7 a uh, from 8 a.m. to uh, 8 a.m. Friday so this covers pretty much this whole event uh, that's moving through uh, eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down in into Virginia 
The uh, purple areas are all about an inch and a half. The red areas are about two and a half. And Maine actually does really well with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Maine does really well with this rainfall-wise, uh, with uh, up to a couple of inches spread out over two days. When you look at the seven-day rainfall amounts, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, uh, we're talking about uh, two to three, possibly even four inches of rain in some areas. Uh, and there are still some dry areas up in uh, northern New England. So uh, this is also going to put a dent in the uh, drought that developed over the summer. So on that note, let's... Uh, Let's look at what we have going forward as far as the uh, weather pattern is concerned. And it's all really about this deep, deep trough that's uh, settling into the eastern part of the United States. Uh, the flow uh, from Canada is going to strengthen. Initially, this trough is to our west. Uh, so this first shot of cool air gets played out over the plains and Midwest. We kind of just get into it a little bit. Uh, there's a second front that comes through on uh, Sunday as that trough starts to rotate and swing eastward. And then here comes the core of the cold air for next week as that upper low dives into the eastern part of the United States and uh, just kind of moves into the northeast. So this is where we're going to see the bulk of the chilly air beginning probably uh, later Monday and bottoming out sometime Wednesday into Thursday of next week. And by the way, if you notice, it doesn't pull out. It lifts up and a new trough dives into the east uh, in the long range. So we're going to see below normal temperatures here possibly till the end of the month, uh, the way things are shaping up. And also the pattern is taking a very blocky look to it in the longer term, which is kind of interesting as well. Um, whether it leads to anything or not, storm-wise, remains to be seen. So uh, in the short range, uh, for the rest of today, uh, we are going to see uh, showers and thunderstorms. You see it here on the GFS uh, depiction of the radar this morning at 8 a.m. This is at 2 p.m. This is at 8 p.m. Again, there'll be some isolated severe thunderstorms. Notice the southeast uh, clears out, uh, as does uh, the Ohio Valley and uh, also uh, into the mid-Atlantic states. Uh, this thing moves along Thursday night, uh, tonight, and then Friday we see some improvement. We'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s today. We'll probably be in the 60s tomorrow and on Saturday, waiting for the second front to come through on Sunday, when it will also be in the 60s. Models are backing off on the idea there might be a scattered shower. I threw it in there for Sunday. Otherwise, the weekend, I think, looks fine from a standpoint of sky, sky quality. No worse than partly sunny, I would think. And... Then Monday, the stronger cold front comes through with the cold air shot. And yes, that is lake effect snows that we're going to start to see uh, next week, beginning on Tuesday and probably lasting uh, into Wednesday and maybe even into early Thursday. So every day we get one day closer to wintertime. Weather in 5, brought to you by OmniTrue Value, uh, Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is OmniTrueValue.com. So, <clears throat> take a look at the satellite. Last look at the satellite here. Just a reminder that we'll have some posts going up throughout uh, uh, later today. Uh, Patreon members, you'll get, a, you'll get your usual uh, posts and uh, others that are only seen for members only. And uh, maybe a weather in 10 later today uh, about the long range. The Joe and Joe weather show tonight at 735 Eastern time. And uh, we'll go through a short, medium and long range outlook uh, at the, sh on the show. Have a great uh, have a great day.